Good day, guys. And you guys are welcome to yet another video. And on today's video, we'll be talking about glossopharyngea neuralgia. Okay. Uh, now, before we get into this topic, this is just for you to know that glossopharyngea neuralgia is basically uh, a defect to the glossopharyngea nerve. Okay. So... This is the MBBS Niger YouTube channel. Kindly do uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share our video, and like our video. Also, do leave a comment on our videos too. You could leave a comment on the different types of uh, topics that you want us to make videos on, and we will do that. Okay. What are the symptoms of uh, glossopharyngeal neuralgia? You have pain, all right? And this pain can be in the throat, can be in the tonsillar region, and also in the posterior third of the tongue. All right. You could have pain in the nasopharynx, that's the back of the nose and throat. You could also have pain in the larynx and your ear too. So, continuation. I'm just trying to see. These are uh, the various types of pains you could have, right? You can be awakening from sleep, have some burning, have some jabbing, continuation. Uh, glossopharyngeal neuralgia can be triggered by um, swallowing, chewing, speaking, laughing, coughing, eating, yawning, and talking. You could also feel a uh, feeling of a sharp body lodge in the throat, right? You could feel like something is in your throat. So now, what? How do you want? If you if you want to diagnose a uh, glossopharyngeal neuralgia, how do you go about it? First of all, you know that is a history, okay? You get to ask the patient the history and so on, and you could be doing a routine investigation. You could. Yeah, the routine investigation. I think this is like a table on how to go about this. Patient with lower facial pain, pain characteristics can be heavy or pharyngeal. Autologic type, classical, GPN. I think this is just like a table on how to diagnose glossopharyngeal neuralgia all right so differential diagnosis trigeminal neuralgia occipital neuralgia temporal arteritis okay um i think this is differential diagnosis this is the laboratory test uh these are the imaging studies this is where you you take on x-ray ct scan MRI scans to okay. Uh, you could see examples of the various scans that we uh gotten from a scan on glossopharyngeal neuralgia. Okay, now you could get to see uh, the various uh things that they study in in these scans. All right. You could see the abnormal uh abnormal structure of of the will I say of the truth. Okay. See 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 treatments. The goal of the treatment is to is to control pain. There's medical treatment, there's surgical treatment, there's needle procedures, and there's radiations. Okay? A medical treatment, you have these drugs that you can actually give the patient. Okay? Antidepressants. I might try Tylen. Uh, this can block reuptake of ne uh, norepinephrine. And serotonin okay you see this 
see the continuation this is a continuation of the treatment of glossopharyngeal neuralgia surgical treatment the aim of the surgical treatment is to depress is to decompress the glossopharyngeal nerve indications failure of medical therapy side effects of medical therapy and compression of glossopharyngeal nerve to surgical options neurectomy okay microvascular decompression so the various surgical options in treating a glossopharyngeal neuralgia microvascular decompression you can reroute uh, blood vessels from the compressing nerve right and it remains permanent in the brain you can have one to two day hospital stay and so on craniotectomy uh, the cranial uh, craniotomy you could see uh the, the 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 place the area in which the uh, the surgeon has to come through to be able to access uh, the glossopharyngeal nerve it's actually like at the back of the head okay this is after a craniotomy right see the stitches there see how uh, the skull is stitched back to its place neurectomy lateral cervical approach nerve rhizotomy too this i just talking about the various ways in which uh glossopharyngeal neuralgia can be treated pain relief is actually gradual medication is it's a long time medication and so on and so forth okay guys with this uh we have gotten to the end of our youtube uh video on uh, glossopharyngeal neuralgia who got to see that glossopharyngeal neuralgia is a dysfunction of the glossopharyngeal nerve okay and we got to see the various symptoms the diagnosis of glossopharyngeal neuralgia and also uh, the treatment of glossopharyngeal neuralgia too Hey guys, with this, I would like to call it a shot, call it a done done. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our YouTube video, share our YouTube video to your friends too. See you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.